So today I'll talk about uh, uh, non-formal and joining mediated targeted integration for in vivo applications. Okay. So as you may know, two DNA double strand break repair machinery is important for targeted genome editing. Okay. So so if uh, NHEJ work to uh, repair the double strand CRISPR-Cas9 in this double strand break. So they sometimes introduce uh, <laughs> can see pointer. So we can see pointer. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, maybe my back is white. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So anyway, so then so NHEJ introduce uh, insertion deletion. Then uh, we can knock out the target gene with random, random uh, mutation. The, in contrast, uh, homologous recombination uh, can uh, introduce any sequencing at target sites, so which enable us to do gene knocking as well as gene correction. So, however, these two DNA double strand break repair machinery are controlled by cell cycles. Although uh, NHEJ uh, works through all of the cell cycles. Uh, Homologous recombination HDR only work S to G2 phase. So that's why uh, current uh, H HDR mediated targeted gene knocking is uh, only achieved in dividing cell, but not non dividing cell. So, because uh, most of the cell in our body uh, post post uh, differentiated uh, post mitotic new mitotic cell or a quiescent stem cell so current uh, hdr mediated uh, gene knocking is still inefficient for in vivo application uh, except some dividing cells such as liver so uh, so that's to overcome these hurdles and enable uh, gene knocking in for all of the uh, tissues. So we propose to hijack highly efficient uh, non homeless and joining uh, system for in vivo. So first, so we compare the existing uh, targeted gene knocking method. Uh, we constructed a series of donor for HDR and HEJ or MMEJ mediated target integration. So MMEJ is a microhomology mediated and joining, which need a microhomology to target the integration site. And this is uh, another minor DNA repair machinery. Okay. So NHEJ mediated targeted integration was initially reported with gene finger nucleus at 2013. So we optimized uh, this system for CRISPR-Cas9. Uh, the trick is very simple. We insert Cas9 uh, guide RNA target site on one or two guide RNA target site on donor. The, in the cell, this donor DNA will cut by Cas9 and uh, insert a target site. So we detect, the, we measure the DNA uh, gene knock, targeted gene knock FCNC by GFP or M cherry uh, expression. Then here is the result in dividing HEC to 93 cells. So as you can see, a targeted gene knocking efficiency of NHEJ mediated method is 10 times higher than other homology dependent method. So that's why we, call, we named this method as homology independent targeted integration, HIT. So this animation, so how NHEJ uh, work for targeted genome editing. So we choose the uh, most popular SPCAS9, which target 20 base pair specific genome sequence and uh, 3 base pair found sequence. And SPCAS9 introduce uh, double stand break between position 70 and 80 and generate a blunt end for most of the case. Once CRISPR-Cas9 cut the target site, uh, NHEJ component will access to the double stand break immediately. Then repaired, the most of the case, the repair is uh, error-free, uh, is no mutation, which we call error-free. Then CRISPR-Cas9 target site reappear, then cut again, and repair again. So this cycle should be supposed to repeat many times in the cells. But eventually, NHEJ introduced uh, insertion deletion. 
Then Cassin recognition site with this appeared. We cannot cut. Then this mutation will fix at target site. So that's why we can easily uh, uh, knock out the target site with random mutation. But regarding to Hichi, so we uh, introduced a uh, donor DNA which we want to insert at target site. And uh, we insert uh, exactly the same 23 base pair Cas9 target site to the donor on the donor. But we put with opposite direction between donor uh, chromosome and donor. Then in the cell, uh, Cas9 cut both donor and chromosome. The NHG component will accumulate soon. Then if this donor will integrate with the desired direction, then after NHG mediated ligation, so Cas9 uh, cutting site will disappear for both sides. Then this uh, donor DNA will integrate with the desired direction and fix it. However, uh, if uh, this uh, donor DNA will integrate with reverse direction, because uh, most of the NHJ is uh, error-free machinery, then after uh, error-free NHJ, uh, Cas9 cutting site uh, will, <laughs> uh, re uh, will reappear again. Then Cas9 cut it out this uh, opposite direction of the donor. Then uh, eventually this uh, cassette will integrate with desired direction or cut it out. So this is uh, expected molecular machinery of Hitch. Yeah, actually, uh, the efficiency of reverse direction uh, is very low, so which suggests the hitch is a unidirectional targeted integration method. And also 90% uh, of the uh, junction site sequence of the correct clone doesn't have any insertion deletion, so which suggests uh, error-free NHG is a predominant manner for hitch. Then we try to uh, apply hitch for in non-dividing cell, first in vitro. So we uh, transfected a uh, cultured or primary mass neuron cell uh, with each component to design uh, knock-in GFP as a uh, neuron specific, uh, the downstream of neuron specific TUBB3 gene. And uh, correct knock-in uh, should result in the expression of uh, expression of fusion protein of TUBB3 and GFP, and the GFP should see the cytoplasmic localization. So, as expected, uh, we can see the uh, GFP knock-in with cytoplasmic localization, which suggests a correct knock-in and uh, Hitch can achieved in, even in non-dividing cell. And also we compare uh, Hitch efficiency uh, with other homology dependent machinery and only Hitch uh, can uh, integrate uh, with higher efficiency for non-dividing cell. The next, so we apply the H for in vivo. But to, uh, ap to apply H uh, for living animals, so we make, we constructed two AV components and package into uh, AV cell type eight or nine. And one AV expression, uh, Cas9. Yeah. Another AV ex uh, express uh, have a guide RNA and donor sequence. And in the uh, co-infected uh, cells, uh, this donor will cut it out and target uh, at the uh, um, chromosomal target site. Then first we injected this Hitchy AV in the uh, visual cortex of adult mouse brain, which is non-dividing tissue. And we can see the targeted, uh, GFP targeted knock at the downstream of TBB3 gene. And the FCC was 3% per cells and 10% per infected cell. And also we locally uh, injected uh, each via intramuscular. Then we can see the GFP knock in uh, skeletal muscle as well. We also tried the systemic uh, genome editing. To this purpose, uh, we choose AI-14 mice, which have a, a constitutive active strong CAG promoter at row 26 loci. So we constructed uh, every vector which can insert GFP as a downstream of uh, 
the uh, CAG uh, locus, and we can see the knocking uh, as a GFP positive signal in whole body. So to deliver this uh, system, we inject uh, uh, AV at P1 mice via intravenous injection. Then two weeks later, uh, we could see uh, GFP knocking for many organs, but in particular, heart, liver, and muscle are a major target organ, and their efficiency was 3 to 5, 10% per cell. And also, this knocking efficiency is, uh, uh, also depends on the tighter of AV. With high tighter AV injection, uh, we can see up to 16% or 25% of knocking for heart and muscles. Then uh, to apply uh, this HIST system for future gene therapy, so we try to correct the inherited mutation using uh, Lechnitis pigmentosa uh, rat model. Uh, Lechnitis pigmentosa RP is an inherited retinal degeneration disease and a common cause of the blindness in humor. So this uh, rat model called as a RCS rat uh, have a 2KB deletion, including exon 2 at uh, MERTK gene. So we constructed every which can insert uh, exon 2 in intron 1 of this gene. We injected every at, uh, by sub injection by locally at three weeks old and analyzed one month later. And uh, <coughs> correct uh, no queen and the uh, rescue of the expression level MRETK gene were confirmed by DNA level and mRNA level and protein levels. And also MR, um, mRNA level uh, shows that uh, each treatment can rescue by 4% of normal level, which was 0% in untreated rat. Uh, H staining also uh, shows a uh, uh, partial uh, rescue of the thickness of ONA layer of RP mice a lot. And the visual function test uh, via electroretinography uh, also shows a uh, uh, partial improvement with uh, HIT. So this is uh, another one of the uh, functional experiments. As you can see, healthy mice can follow the rotation of the strip. However, RP model that cannot it follow it due to the uh, brightness. Uh, in contrast, uh, the treated uh, rat uh, partially follows the uh, rotation <laughs> of the, the strip. And once the rotation starts to reverse direction, then uh, they can follow a little bit. So this, these results suggest that uh, which can correct the uh, mutation and uh, can see the therapeutic effect for uh, visual function, especially for uh, deletion type of mutation. Then in the last few minutes, so I'll talk about the more versatile hitch strategy to cure the uh, any type of mutation, including point mutation. So to this end, so we choose a progeria mice model this have a, a autosomal dominant point mutation in LMNA gene, and this mouse shows a, a premature aging phenotype in March organ and show life, life short span. So to correct a mutation for whole body, so we inject AV with IV injection at P1 mice. Then we analyze. And actually, so the Previous our hitch method can insert targeted, insert gene at targeted locus, but we cannot remove the mutation. So, so but we uh, propose a new uh, novel strategy which can insert uh, functional exon and three prime in front of mutated exon. So this uh, project mice model have a C2T point mutation at exon 11. So we uh, insert exon 11, 12, and 3 prime UTR 
in internal tab. The after integration, uh, this uh, integrated cassette should transcribe uh, transcribed rather than the uh, mutated exon. The, this muta mutated exon should uh, still there. Uh, it won't affect the expression of the uh, collected uh, mRNA. Then uh, seven weeks after old, uh, we analyze, uh, we confirm the correct gene nucleus with G a DNA or RNA label. And this uh, rat shows a, a small body weight and a, a short lifespan. And for both of the uh, phenotype, it's uh, rescued by a Hichi uh, significantly. So these results suggest that uh, which can uh, cure even autosomal uh, dominant mutation as well as point mutation. So uh, this is a main uh, collaborator of this project. Uh, mainly uh, this work uh, we have done in San Carlos Belmont Lab Soak Institute. So I would like to thank for the, uh, all of them. Uh, thank for the uh, attention. Thank for your attention. I was curious, in your last experiment, um, did you look at the jun junction sites to see how uh, much insertion deletions that you, you had? Uh, last experiment, actually, we didn't see because uh, we target uh, internal. Uh, we, we don't care that the deletion so much. But uh, in the previous uh, expression, uh, previous uh, experiment for GFP knocking, so we checked both uh, targeted in there and knocking. So actually, it's, it's essence is almost similar. It's a deletion and knocking essence was similar, uh, essence thirty five percent. Thank you, thank you for the presentation. I'm here. <laughs> uh, I have a question about uh, in vivo mouse brain genome editing part. Let's say if you do delivery with AV viruses and try to knock out genes in vivo, which are based on NHEG, it, those are quite high percentage, like, I don't know, 60, 80 people have shown. And your HITI is pretty much based on NHEG, and it was showing very high percentage in vitro. But what you got in vivo, it was strikingly low for me, like 10%. Do you have any explanation for that? Uh, actually, uh, our Hitchin method is uh, compete with uh, error prone NHJ. So error prone NHJ introduce uh, insertion deletion at target site, but Hitch uh, inhibit this. So if we insert Hitch component, the uh, expression level of uh, I don't know is an insertion deletion efficiency will be decreased. So that's why I think the uh, insertion deletion will inhibit by HG. And also, our, uh, in our experience, the NHG activity, error NHG activity, is uh, totally depends on the uh, organs. 